Ooh, reciprocal function. This is one we also did on that same quiz. Man, I really like the idea of me reviewing all those warm-ups for you guys and then saying, hey, do we know how to graph this? We should. We talked about this at the beginning of the year, and we also went over it. This produces the reciprocal function. We have a vertical stretch factor of 3, and we have a horizontal shift one unit to the left. Now, again, we can apply direct substitution, right? I would apply direct substitution first if I could, but once I plug in a negative 1, I get 0, so that's not going to work. So I just go ahead and graph based on my transformations. And the graph's going to look something like this, something like this. And I say, uh, well, I know there's that asymptote. Remember, this is that special hyperbola graph, right? So if you were to graph in your calculator, you'd see something like this. Or just by knowing it, you don't even have to open up your calculator. And so if I want to approach negative 1, well, since I have to approach negative 1 from the left and from the right, I see that's approaching a vertical asymptote. And the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit obviously do not go to the same value. So this is one of those nice does not exist. OK? Capiche? Yes.